Tony D and Little Joan, and it's time for your piney podcast, all things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Thanks for checking out the Pineys, books 1 through 15, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I just finished up uh, yesterday the first draft of book 16 which may be a little too long. I might have to charge another dollar for it. I don't know. have to check it out when I finish the editing and put it through the system to see how long it actually is and if the price point might have to go up. But uh, that's a big one. It's a big one. That's, that's going to be short stories again. So look for that coming to an Amazon near you in October. October, Joan. All right. Let's get into it. As always, I start with some crime, but don't worry. There's plenty of other headlines. Try to stay away from the really crimey headlines. First up, three Millville, uh, New Jersey men, dead in morning crash as BMW flips over. Identified uh, they were in their 20s. Another morning crash. Patterson left two dead. So the, this was an 830 a 2006 BMW heading west on Mays Landing Road lost control near Panther Road in Vineland. Uh, the car was going at a high rate of speed when it went off the road and hit a utility bowl, flipped over, and hit an irrigation wench in the farm field nearby. Jesus, what the hell were they doing? Driver was identified as Ian Rodriguez, 23. And the passengers were... Jocon Carter, 26, and Shamir Bryant, 24. Young guys. I, I don't know why you were driving so fast, guys, in the, in the morning. I guess you're trying to get to work. I don't know. Man accused of breaking into homes in New Jersey neighborhood by pushing homes a window AC unit in. Ooh. This is in Woodbury. Oh, my God. That's not far from me. Um, Well, I'll give it to him. It's smart. I mean... Few people are going to fix their AC units in in such a way that they can't get pushed in. So, but you're going to hear it if you're home. So that's another disadvantage uh, for the burglar. Atlantic City police arrest man with a gun threatening murder suicide. This is a 75 uh, year old man from Blue Springs, Missouri. Weird. He, uh, they responded to a domestic dispute at a motel in Iowa Avenue. Uh, okay, so I assume they de-escalated the situation, so at least no one was hurt. Cockfighting ringleader uh, sentenced for meth dealing in South Jersey. Jesus, what a headline. Had more than a pound of meth and dealt the substance to an undercover cop, authority says, and did cockfighting. So a lot of trouble there. He was sentenced to prison on Monday. Holy crap, dude. Uh, arsonist behind Manchester, New Jersey home fire and hate spree sentence. He spray painted 14 houses with swastikas and other bad guy from Germany imagery. Weird. He was 35. I don't know, man. Some people are just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, I guess. 16 people arrested by sheriff's officers in Atlantic County. So, this was outstanding warrants. Yeah, once in a while they just go along and arrest a bunch of people who are just sitting around. <laughs> they're, they're there, and the cops, I guess, know where they are, and they haven't bothered to follow up yet, but I guess they did some sort of sweep, so everybody had outstanding warrants. Truck fire reported on highway in Cherry Hill. No injuries. Good. Uh, when was that? I forgot to say the time. August 15th, so a few days ago. All right, getting into the politics. Does Kamala Harris have a drinking problem? Trump team launches accusation. I had to put this uh, headline in, even though it's not specific to South Jersey, because I just think it's hilarious. And with all the stuff they throw at Trump, I mean, and I think she is drunk. I mean, she sounds drunk in many of her speeches to me ex cnn host don lemon surprised by new jersey voters take on the election four years ago it was a lot better one voter said he made a lot more money four years ago 
Yeah, this is from Fox News. Uh, I saw this video. Don Lemon goes down to Atlantic City on the boardwalk and interviews people, and most people said that they were voting for Trump. I know. Shocker. Shocker. Most people know the price of gas and food because they drive cars and eat. And Don Lemon was like, oh, I don't believe this. He's the worst. One of the worst. I, I don't know why. He he's got millions of dollars. Like, what an ego he must have to think, oh, people people still want to see me on TV. <laughs> Emerson Poll, Trump 49, Harris 48. So good news there. Uh, Deptford Township School District cut, cutting back on busing, consolidating bus stops for the new school year. Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't live in Deptford, so I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a good thing. Um, it saves the township some money, I guess. A vote without fear of Trump's dystopian vision. This is a New Jersey dot com op ed. Uh, I think this is very typical of a lot of people in the media in New Jersey still. Vote without fear of Trump's dystopian vision. Yeah, di real dystopian vision of cheap gas cheap food and not being overrun with illegal aliens. Former New Jersey Governor Christie's continued to throw shade at former president in years long beef. Yeah, he prosecuted, I was told, Jared Kushner's dad and uh, the Trump team kind of had it out for him, but Christie sort of blinded himself to that, thought, thought he was okay. And then, uh, yeah, they kicked him to the curb the moment Trump got it. <laughs> so long farewell, Senator Bob Menendez officially withdraws from Senate race. Damn it. I wanted to see him stay in and split the vote. But, you know, he wasn't going to win. You know, it would have been a political suicide run. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to be in. Unfortunately, we'll probably get a Democrat. Um, I would want anybody else other than a Democrat. Uh, New Jersey governor's former chief of staff to replace Menendez but only until the November election. So I don't even think he's running. He's just going to be filing the paperwork. Immigrant driver's license, a national topic, but a New Jersey law. Another reason why uh, I really don't want um, uh, Democrats in office here. Uh, undocumented immigrants shouldn't have a driver's license because they're in this country illegally and they should be sent home uh, where they live. So if you're not a citizen and you're not here legally, there's no way you should be getting a driver's license. Now, if you have a green card and you live here legally, sure. I assume you're in the process of becoming a citizen, maybe you're going to be married to a citizen, something like that. But illegal aliens, no, they shouldn't be a, able to get driver's license. You've been warned, New Jersey, it's all to get votes for the Democrats, I, I, you know. You've been warned, New Jersey's impaired driving crackdown happening throughout Labor Day. So, don't drive drunk, number one. Uh, if you do get pulled over by one of these stop points... Uh, know that I think it's illegal. I think it's unconstitutional just to pull people over at random. They have to have a reason. Um, and just, you know, be polite and you'll get out of there shortly, hopefully. Hopefully you're not on the way to something important. This is South Jersey School District. It, or this South Jersey School District is banning cell phones in classrooms starting in September. I'm not opposed to this. What the hell's this thumbnail, though? It's a picture of a guy with a chip in his brain. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so Cherry Hill Public Schools are banning cell phones. Yeah, they could do stuff that uh, actually makes students smarter. Uh, if only the rest of the districts would get on board. New Jersey bill seeks to regulate THC-infused drinks that are legal today. So expect those to skyrocket in price. Uh, I'm against this kind of regulation. Stop it, New Jersey. New Jersey Transit will be free for a week uh, as apology for ugly summer, Governor says. Eh, sounds like another bribe, but what are you going to do? Um, good for the people who could take advantage of this. 
Uh, otherwise, you got to wonder why are the prices so high if they can afford to do this a whole week of free riding. Short on cash, you could earn $300 as a New Jersey poll worker. Hmm. Uh, I think I tried to apply. Let's see. You have to be a New Jersey citizen or a uh, U.S. citizen and New Jersey resident. You can't be younger than 16. You can't be a candidate. And you have to attend a two-hour poll worker training class every two years. Okay. So this is Monmouth County Board of Elections. So I guess in Monmouth County, uh, they're looking for people. I tried to apply here, but I didn't get in. Gun permit applications are skyrocketing in New York and New Jersey. Uh, good, I guess. Um, more guns uh, in the hands of local citizens. Definitely a good thing. Devastating fire forces two popular restaurants to close in Sea Isle. Okay. This is in Fish Alley. And uh, what were the restaurants? Casa Taco Bayfront, Takira, uh, Takakiria. I'm not saying that right. Uh, Casa Taco Bayfront, Takiria, and Casino Pizza. Okay, I don't know those two places, but that's a shame. Hope they recover. Um, this was in Middleton, and the bridge got stuck up, so nobody could uh, get across the Middleton Bridge today. Uh, is it illegal to ride with your feet on the dashboard in New Jersey? I don't think so. A lot of people do it. No. Right. Yeah. It is not illegal. Probably not a great idea, especially if you get into an accident. Pat Hobbs resigns as Rutgers Athletic Director, citing health concerns. This was kind of abrupt. This was Friday. Uh, he's 64. Oh, apparently he had... Uh, he had some cardiac issues. Hmm. So, oh, good for him taking care of himself. If he has to, he has to. This is one of New Jersey's strangest laws. Uh, there's a law in the books in New Jersey regarding the eating of pickles in Trenton. If you're munching on a sour dill orange sweet gherkin on a Sunday, you have violated the town law. So watch yourself eating pickles on the street in Trenton. Cake Boss Bakery closes. New restaurants arriving. South Jersey Business Brief. Uh, this was Carlo's Bakery in Marlton. I tried to support this because I sort of like Cake Boss. But more importantly, it was right next to a Starbucks that I usually meet my friends at. And I wanted to get a better quality of pastry. But let me tell you something. Their prices were high. Now, the smart thing would have been to undercut Starbucks or at least match their prices in a way. Do you want a Starbucks pastry that's probably been in plastic for God knows how long? Or would you like a nice fresh cupcake that's just been baked? Uh, and I got to say, and this was before the pandemic, their prices were uh, astronomical to me. They had good stuff. I still bought a couple of things, but I thought they were high. Uh, some looking to profit on closing of Jillian's Wonderland Pier in Ocean City. Very sad. Um, so, I hope somebody buys it. News of the closing had sent some fans to try to make a profit or break even from their remaining ticket. Oh, okay. So, they're selling tickets. That's how they're profiting. That's kind of sad. Um, Rabid Skunk puts dogs under quarantine in Gloucester Township. So watch out. Um, uh, you got to watch out for your dogs with skunks anyway, right, Joan? You had a bad experience twice. And uh, not with that skunk, but with other skunks. You got sprayed. Yes, you did. You got sprayed. You were so stinky. You were so stinky. It's a nightmare. Tractor Supply proposed for Mantua at Gino's Driving Range property. I guess. I don't know. These stores are enormous. And I don't think there's a tremendous amount of tractors in Mantua. I mean, I guess there's a few, but I know they sell other things, but still. Commercial farming could return to Cherry Hills. <coughs> excuse me. Holly Ravine Farm. Okay. Would love to see that. More farms, better. 
If you hear Code Brown in a New Jersey, New York, or Pennsylvania Walmart, leave immediately. I'm going to guess that somebody pooped themselves. Um, codes are crucial for blah, 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 blah. The codes you need to know. Code Adam. These are all Walmart codes. Child is missing. Code Spark. Customer service. Code A. Uh, potential security or safety concern. Code B. First to a spill. Cleanup needed. Code C. I don't know why they got to keep that a secret. Clo Code C. Refers to a situation that needs more cashiers. Code Orange. Uh, refers to a hazardous materials hazardous material spill or chemical leak. Code Green. Uh, is a situation where a customer or employee might need have a medical emergency. Code White. Uh, is another medical emergency. Code black, severe weather. Code red, uh, fire. Code blue, medical emergency. And code brown, there's a violent situation going on in the store. Oh, I thought somebody just pooped themselves. What would that be? The code dark brown. Code very hazardous brown. Uh, the most expensive movie theater experience in New Jersey. I assume that's very north. And it is. And, uh, oh my God, Patterson? Are you essing me? $39.50? Is that for... That's got to be for two tickets, right? That's got to be two tickets. I mean, $39.50. Yeah, two tickets. $39.50 in Patterson. Jesus in Camden, it's 28. That's where it is near me. To, and before, Why do you do it like that? Why don't you just do... I don't get it. That's almost 20 bucks a movie. That's ridiculous. Five reasons why South Jersey is the best part of New Jersey. Ooh. It is, quite frankly. South Jersey cheesesteaks, yes. Oh, we got good cheesesteaks here. I, I, would, I would say better than Philly. Traffic and population congestion is lower. Definitely cost of living, lower. Our beaches and boardwalks, yep. And Wawa. Oh, they got them up north, too. You didn't add the Pine Barrens? How could you miss the Pine Barrens in that list? New Jersey needs a water taxi at the shore. For what? <laughs> How do you know when you want to go to New York City, but you don't want to pay to park in the city? A water taxi? Yeah, I guess up north. Um, where the hell would you go? You're talking Seaside Heights? I, I, I guess. Uh, these New Jersey bridges missing from the list of scariest U.S. crossings. Captain William Moore Bridge, Alaska. Oh. Uh, yeah, where are, the, where are the ones in New Jersey? Okay, now you're looking at the scariest ones around the country. Where's New Jersey? New York? Okay, nothing in New Jersey. Yeah, Outer Bridge Crossing. This is uh, 440. I mean, it doesn't look that scary. Look kind of Spartan. Pulaski Skyway? Eh. Burlington Bristol Bridge. It's a little scary, I guess. I mean, when it's foggy... All bridges are kind of scary, I guess. Grocery outlet Gibbstown sets September opening opening date. So look forward to that, I guess, if you're a grocery person. Every major spirit Halloween location in New Jersey for 2024. All right, let's go through these. Here we go. Aberdeen. Brick. Bridgewater. Another Bridgewater. Cherry Hill, first location. It's uh, over in... Uh, the Christmas tree shop, formerly a Christmas tree shop. Cherry Hill, second location in Cherry Hill. The first one's Marlton. This one is uh, in Cherry Hill at the former Rite Aid. Clementon, former Rite Aid. I think I know where that is. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of former Rite Aids on this list. Uh, Clifton, East Brunswick, Egg Harbor, near Boscovs. English Town, Franklin, Franklin Township, Freehold, 
Hamdel, Lawrence Township, Livingston, Manahawk, and Marlton, former Bed Bath & Beyond. Yep, another empty store. Mays Landing, former Bed Bath & Beyond. Middle Township, former Family Dollar. Ooh. Newton, North Brunswick, Old Bridge, Paramus, 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 Parsippany, Port Monmouth, Riverdale, Rockaway, Susuhanna, uh, Tom's River 1, Tom's River 2, uh, the first in a former Rite Aid, the second in the ShopRite Center, Totowa, Turnersville, former Sears, on Route 42, hmm. Vineland, former Ulta, on Delcy Drive, uh, Wachung, w Wayne, Williamstown at a former Rite Aid, Willingboro at a former Dollar Tree, or next to Dollar Tree, sorry, next to Do Dollar Tree, Woodbridge and Woodbury Heights at the former Esporta. So look for those. New Jersey bucket list of seafood restaurants is over a century old. All right, let's see what the list is. Um, da -da 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 -da. This is Doc's Oyster House. Doc's, I've been there. It's really good. It's near Ducktown in Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good place. Uh, a little pricey, but uh, it's fancy and it's worth it. People moving to New Jersey from these states. Number three is most hysterical. All right, let's go down to number three. And it is, place your bets, Florida. Really? Number two is Pennsylvania. Number one is New York. Yeah, New York would be, a, uh, my guess, is the top. New Jersey's best donut shop will satisfy that sweet tooth. Place your bets. Is this another federal donuts? Uh, I can't even read the sign. Broad Street Dough Company. Okay, where the hell is this? A wall. Okay, so this is up north. Um, so, yeah, I guess. Masterful Mexican restaurants in New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania earn top national honors. I don't care about the other states. We'll just New Jersey, please. <clears throat> These pictures look good, though. The food looks good. All right. Jersey has more Italian restaurants per square mile than anyone. But Mexican restaurants are a close second. All right, so here is um, Oral Mexican Kitchen in Jersey City. That got uh, kudos. A little far north for me. Jersey Shore Ring Finder going strong for 10 plus years. Cool. It's in Tom's River. So I guess if you lose a ring, he comes and finds it. <clears throat> I should hire him... Uh, uh, back when I was married, I lost my ring in the backyard somewhere. Still never found it. In my opinion, the best bar in New Jersey can be found in Seaside Park. All right. And what is it called? All right. The Sandbar. Okay. I like the name. Very close to the beach as well. Oh, it's rumbling outside. Hope I don't get uh, shut down. The Sky Ride at Six Flags is not permanently closed. Here's the scoop. Oh, okay. So I guess they're in uh, repair mode. It's a pretty nice ride. It's not going anywhere. It's temporarily closed. Uh, they don't say why. I assume they're fixing it up. Maybe they're painting it. Great late session. Great late season veggies you can plant now. Oh. All right. Carrots. Like carrots. Green beans. Meh. Herbs. Always good. Like like me some cilantro. Lettuce, really. Mm, I like some fresh lettuce. Let me tell you something. You plant some iceberg lettuce and you will not regret it. It it actually looks green as opposed to the white stuff you get in the store. Peas, of course. Yeah, they're pretty hardy. So, Yeah. Get get to planting. Is onions on that list? 
Spinach, radishes, and arugula. September, garlic, as late as November. Interesting. Uh, only a true New Jerseyan can pronounce these town names correctly. Okay. Here we go. Alamucci. Bernardsville. Boontown. So far, I'm good. Buena. Dunellen. Forked River. That's easy. Gloucester City. Easy. Homdell. Hopacon. Manaplan. Metuchen or Metuchen. Metuchen, I think. Pequannock, Rahway, that's an easy one, Sayerville, also easy, and Secaucus. I got most of them. Wawa New Stores Grand Opening in Pensgrove and Logan this month. So I believe they have free coffee when they open, so look for that. 129 dogs, 43 cats, two Ocean County, New Jersey women get minimal jail time and animal cruelty taste. Look. They don't want to hurt the animals, I don't think. I think they want to save them, but there's just too many, and it's sad. I, I would rather the animals live, even if the conditions aren't that great, but I get why you have to worry about it. Don't look now, but zombies are coming to Asbury Park. It's a zombie walk. It's October 5th, everybody. Uh, school vaccine requirements for New Jersey, what you need to know. Preschool, MMR vaccine. Um, what is that? Which one is that? Oh, chicken pox. If you've previously had chicken pox, you don't need to receive the vaccine. The var varicella vaccine. The MMR vaccine. What is that? You're supposed to get it when you're little. Seasonal flu. Uh, I would never get this one. The current seasonal flu influenza vaccine is required every year for those children six months through 59 months of age. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, I, I, I don't know. A flu vaccine is required? That seems wrong. Um, are you saying these aren't required? These are required by preschool. Why would you give that to a preschooler? Vaccinations for K-12 to in New Jersey. Uh, DTAT, AP. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not sure which one that is. Why don't you tell us which disease they, they do? Tdap, not sure which that one is. Polio, of course. MMR. Oh, okay, that's measles, mumps. And rubella. Okay. Yeah, that's a legit one, I think. Uh, varicella vaccine. Only required for kids born after January 1st, 1998. Okay. Kids who have had chicken pox don't need it. Uh, meningocal Tdap vaccines. And meningocal vaccines. Uh, religious exemptions. So, there's a lot of information here. Is COVID-19, ah, that's what I wanted to know, vaccine required? No. No. Uh, but they're trying to push people into it. Uh, three New Jersey towns have the cleanest streets in the U.S. Place your bets. Uh, Lambertville, Bridge Street. Okay. Bloomfield Avenue and Montclair. What was the first one? Washington Street and Cape May. Of course. <laughs> New Jersey Penn. Cash's Bakery opens. Haddonfield location. It's 5th in South Jersey. Oh, they'll do well there. I don't know why they didn't... Uh, hell, this would have been my first choice. They've got one in Hamilton. It's a decent place. I stay away from the pizza... I got sick on the pizza once. Not at that location, obviously, because it's new. But sometimes the pizza sits out too long, I think. But I think the bread's good. And I think the pizza's good, but I'm wary of it now. Um, this is how people are making extra income in New Jersey. Okay, these are, these are second jobs. Side hustle is rideshare, most popular. Okay. 
That's uh, anticlimactic. Okay. Pretty much guessed that. World's famous pork roll competition returns to Trenton. Why did it stop? Why did it stop? This is at Riverfest. Uh, <clears throat> happened Saturday, September 21st and 22nd. So. Or no. No, no. It happens on Saturday. And then fall starts the next day. So enjoy that. Uh, Osaka Sushi Grill and Buffet coming to Blackwood Clementon Road. Hmm. I'm of mixed feelings about a buffet of sushi. They're rarely great. They're sometimes worth it, but I don't know. Maybe. I'd have to see the lineup and the price. These New Jersey hidden gems top the list of family bucket list destinations. The Pine Barrens. Although now you'll... There's a lot of ticks. Uh, Cape May Point State Park. Okay. And... Oh, this is uh, in a bigger list. Uh, across the country, I hear. Okay. So, uh, Cape May Point, Point State Park was number 69 on the list. And the Pine Barrens was 86. I assume out of 100. So, we're on the list. That's something. Love ice cream. Love beer. You'll need to try this New Jersey brew. Oh, it's beer ice cream? <laughs> Gross. Vanilla shake, vanilla ice cream milkshake IPA? I don't know, man. That sounds weird. I'm not a beer guy, so I don't know. I mean, maybe it's good. <laughs> Where is this? This is uh, Source Farmhouse Brewery. I mean, I guess I would try it just to try it. Cape Stock brings Spirit of Woodstock to Cape May. Okay, rock on. Crazy Diamonds. A Mega Millions ticket worth a million dollars sold in New Jersey store as jackpot soars to $498 million. Where was it sold last Friday night? Uh, do, 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 do. Where was it sold? Um, did it say? No. Why wouldn't you tell us where it was? Almost every time they tell you where it, it was. Okay. Just somewhere in Jersey. So, good luck. Ten best hangout spots for the older New Jersey crowd. Okay, this is for me. Let's see. Bogart's Lounge in uh, Iceland. Too far for me. Rustica Lounge Bar in Cliffside Park. Also too far. Uh, rooftop Exchange Place, Jersey City, too far. Farside Tavern, Hoboken, also too far. Boogie Nights, Atlantic City, not too far. I don't know. In the Tropicana, not much of a dancer. Moonstruck in Asbury Park, that's kind of far. I don't know. Oh, this was from the movie Moonstruck? Nah, no thanks. Restaurante Luca and Piano Lounge in Bordentown. Hmm, maybe. That's not too far, and that doesn't sound totally annoying. AP Rooftop, Asbury Park. That sounds way too hipster for me. Uh, Molly Pitcher Inn in Red Bank. Ooh, I like the historical aspect of it. I might make the drive for that. Le Mont Lounge in Colonia. And that's it. Enjoy an overnight stay at Bally's in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and dinner at their new steakhouse. There's a contest. Uh, let's see. What do you have to do? Uh -huh. Join us at Park Place Prime for happy hour every day from 4 to 6, featuring oysters on half shell, truffle fries, Wagyu beef sliders, calamari, and more. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. You have to fill out your information here. Must be 21. Okay. I will do that later. And finally, have you tried New Jersey's best restaurant for pancakes? All right. It would be where? Do, 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 Breakfast locations. Oh, here we go. In Monmouth County. The Blue Swan Donner Diner in Oakhurst. I think I've been there. That sounds super familiar. I may have been there. Looks good. 
Over Easy Kitchen in Marlboro. Oh, man, that looks fabulous. That's some fabulous look on French toast. Toast. So hipster. Asbury Park. I have not been there. My Kitchen Witch, Mammoth Beach. That looks pretty good. All Seasons 2 and Freehold. Looks okay. Um, Me Moms, various locations at the Jersey Shore. Haven't heard of that one. Amy's Omelette House in Long Branch. Uh, they just got an Amy Omelette's house near me. It's not bad. I, I've been there. Uh, C. La Vie, Red Bank for crepes. Looks good. Comfy of Belmar up north. That's the uh, north of Belmar. All Seasons Diner in Eatontown. May have been there. Project Brunch, <laughs> English Town. Project Brunch. The Buttered Biscuit, Bradley Beach. Have been there. Turning Point, various locations. Eh, I've been dragged there. Oh, here are the, here's pancakes. I think you had the list mixed up. All right. Top 20 Monmouth County restaurants for delicious pancakes. Evan, Evan's Restaurant, Matawan. Girls Cafe, Highlands. Toast, Asbury Park. Zoe's Vintage Kitchen, Highlands. Sides Diner and Grill, Long Branch. These are all in Monmouth. Uh, Mayberry Market, Avon by the Sea. Uh, Rise and Shine Diner in Eatontown. Mariner's Cove Restaurant, Brill. Project Brunch, English Town. Uh, Yolks on You Kitchen, Seabright. Lenore's Cafe in Keyport. I was just in uh, Keyport not too long ago. AM Kitchen in Silver Lake. Pa Paradiddle Griddle. Man, they're making a lot of pancakes there in Red Bank. Al's Luncheonette in uh, Man Manaplan. Uh, Turning Point in Seagirt, Little Silver, Long Branch, Manaplan, and Homdell. Me Moms in Wall Township. The Buttered Biscuit in Bradley Beach. Bon Appetit Grill in Crepes, Matawan. Comfy of Belmar in Belmar up north. And Sweet Lou's Cafe. Sweet Lou's. In Freehold, New Jersey. Uh, for South Jersey, hmm, where would I go? Probably go to Ponzio's in Cherry Hill. And uh, then there's Uncle Bill's uh, down the shore. If you're dying for pancakes, pretty much any diner worth its salt in New Jersey will make you a decent pancake. I mean, it's kind of hard to screw up pancakes. You got a whole freaking kitchen at your disposal and you're cooking all kinds of crazy food. I mean, how do you screw up pancakes? Seriously. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Jones. It's rumbling outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Thanks for tuning in to the Piney Podcast uh, for pancakes and all the other stuff I talked about. Next up for me, I'll be at the Shore Vintage Show this Saturday from, I think it's 10 to 3, in Richland, New Jersey. Hope to see you there. We'll see you.